What is? What's up? Gang, what's up, Taurus? It's popping. Hey, y'all. Hey, did you miss me? Hmm. Hey, boo. Hey, this first time to my channel. I'm Mocha. Also, this first time to my channel. Look out, I cuss. Uh, make cuss a little, make cuss a lot. Just depending on what the hell these cards say. So, if cussing don't work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Okay? Because I'm gonna do that. To the new subscribers, hey y'all, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional. Okay? We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. We share. We grow. We love one another. We enlighten. We we enlighten one another. We evolve. Posy vibes only over here. Okay? We family. To the returning subscribers, familia, what's popping? How are you guys doing? How have you guys been taking in all of these eclipse, eclipse energies as well as these retrograde energies? It's a motherfucking party in the sky. How about that? Okay. Thank you guys in advance for all of the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the love. I truly appreciate it for the most humble space. Um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found uh, within the description box below. You guys, this is not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, what is Mocha going to say? <laughs> Who knows what I'm going to say? Don't try to make that motherfucker fit. Because you're, you're going to fall. <laughs> if it's not your size. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hold on. Let me let this head serious up out of here. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, puppy ass. Come on. Usually he's moving fast. Today he was moving slow. I wasn't ready. He say, oh, bitch, watch my feet. Watch my feet. <laughs> you guys, we're going to start with the intuitive messages. Y'all know I'm goofy, all right? This will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers for the sign of Taurus for mid-month July 2019, okay? Intuitively for you guys, I got new love, past life, reconciliation, releases, heightened intuition, thief, secrets, trust issues, karma, living arrangements, internal healing, belief system, emotionally close, fulfillment, reconsider, assets, family ties, Participation, inheritance, new home, fear of rejection, fear of unknown, soul, I'm sorry, sacral chakra, mental clarity, reprogramming of the subconscious mind, blind faith, unexpected, reassess, redo, self worth, judgment. And I got mental clarity. I don't know if I said that, but yes. Yeah. Taurus, if this message of those of those intuitive messages did apply um, with your situation currently, yeah, this is your reading. Let's talk about it. Okay. Overall energy around the reading, you guys. I got for you all the Queen of Diamonds. Okay. So some of you all, some of you all could be in this space of just really separating yourself, separating your energy from people, okay? Some of you all, this could actually have to do with a new opportunity that's going to uh, require for you to travel and separate yourself um, from others, okay? I definitely feel like a sense of divine intervention for you guys uh, during this mid-month of July, as well as continuing on into the middle of August, I'm here for some of you all. Some of you all, <sighs> there's this energy of... And I'm going to tell you what I hear and what I feel. You think you slick, but I already seen it coming a mile away. Okay, that's for some of you all. Some of you all have a very obsessive energy. This could be your energy for another person or a situation. And there's this energy of like blaming yourself. I'm hearing, damn, damn, damn. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. So first and foremost, you're not fucking stupid. Okay. Second, um, I'm also feeling this energy of needing to release like self blame as well as the energy of procrastination or feeling as if, um, time is going to move the way that you expect it to move. Time don't wait for no damn body boo, okay? Okay? So with that said, op some opportunities are going to be uh, resurfacing back for you guys, okay? Um, some of them you're going to want. Some of them, yes, yeah, ain't going to want. It's up to you and what the hell floats your boat. But what I will say is, um, Taurus, there's a need for you guys to stand firm. Mean what you say and say what you mean, okay? 
the angel message for you guys this month. And you guys, I feel like the number two is going to be very essential. Some of you guys may be seeing two, two, two. It has to do with balance, okay? Angel message you guys got for the month or mid half of July is gold. Divine intervention. Yes. God sends miracles to answers sincere prayers okay so there's this need to focus on your intent um also there you guys need to really release some energy some of you guys are holding on to this pent-up energy and there's this major release that's trying to happen you may find yourself being a bit emotional kind of like an emotional roller coaster spirit is trying to assist you and take that from you but some of y'all want to hold it all and still expect to move forward and spirit is like uh 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 bring that ass here girl bring that ass here boy we're not going to do that Okay, I'm going to need that up off you so that I can bless you and show you why things had to occur that way. Thank you, Ra. I asked for the sun before y'all reading started and my boy, he coming through because it was getting ready to rain here. And I'm like, come on, let me finish up, you know, some of these videos so I can, you know, don't rain, don't rain down. We need the sun. Okay. Some of you guys, there could be a focus on a sac on the sacral chakra uh, during this time and needing to uh, find that find that alignment within that. Because some of you guys, it's off, okay? And for some of you all, it is overactive, okay? So I definitely feel that some of you all are really needing to align your chakras during this time. Take that time of rest and rejuvenation for yourself. Some of you all may be dreaming up or connecting with the father figure and spirit, okay? This person is assisting you. They're trying to... Some of y'all may also be receiving a gift from your father or something that belonged to a father or a grandfather figure, okay? I feel like this this piece of, for some of y'all, I'm hearing jewelry, okay? For others of you, this could be you wanting to give a gift to someone else. You could be the father figure. But I definitely feel like the angels are assisting you, okay, with, this inter with, with your internal wealth, your internal health your mental health, okay? Because some of you guys are obsessing over situations that's out of your control, okay? Very strongly. Let me re read you what the damn book say. Like, all right. Gold. Divine invention. You can expect a miracle to help with the situation that you're concerned about. Prayers from multiple people have been heard and are being answered. This card indicates the need to hear and follow divine guidance. Many prayers are answered by God giving you a set of instructions to take action steps, which will bring about the blessed outcome. So do keep your mind clear and sober so that you won't miss, miss noticing them. Create quiet space as well so that you can hear your inner voice of God. Keep giving this troubling situation to God through, through prayer, including praying for help and surrendering the concern if you are struggling with the fear of control issue or with the fear or control issues. Since gold is associated with Jesus, this card can also be a sign to reconnect with him, okay? And, you know, we all have our own beliefs now. This is Doreen Virtue's damn beliefs, but definitely the wisdom with it is within the cards. Take the wisdom and not the actual belief system around it, you know, to whom that is concerned to, because I felt the need to say that, because I have my own beliefs as well, and um, they have to do with idol treat, whatever, okay? Let's get it. But I will say... Um, you guys, you guys are really connecting with your inner God. It's connecting with your inner God and in doing so, people, places, and things is going to have to roll out so that the new can roll in, okay? Let's get it. Four Taurus mental space. Some of you all could be connecting with the water sign. Some of you all, this has to do with your own internal space of going with the flow, okay? Going with the natural ebb and flow of life. Don't worry about tomorrow because that's not your damn worry. That's not your problem. How the hell do you know? Remember, you are here to be a humble servant, okay? A humble servant towards the universe to learn, to experience, to expand, to grow. So it's about going with the flow and not trying to control every damn thing because in that flow will you find your damn peace and harmony within the self so that you can exude that in your outer world, okay? Some of you all, and in doing so, you will be victorious. Going forward, you will be victorious in everything that you touch. There will be a lot of celebration. Some of you guys could be focusing on school during this time. I don't know why the hell I hear school, but some of you guys, you will be victorious going forward, but there's a need for you guys to release the things that you cannot control, cannot control and again, learn to go with the ebb and flow of things. If things are having to be released, if things are coming into your life that have, be, have, have been, that has, be, uh, I'm sorry, 
proven to be emotional, emotionally or emotional blessings for you. Or even for some of you all, this has to do with newness that's trying to occur. But there's this resistance in holding on to shit that is not assisting your soul growth in occurring. Okay? So I do see that for some of you all, harmony is to come in a situation. Some of y'all could be dealing with the fire sign, Leo, very strongly or have it in your chart. Okay? And some of you all, this has to do with water, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay? Let's get it. I don't want to use the boards. He's here screen. Taurus! So I'm going to go with them. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. I know I'm goofy as hell. I hope you guys put out your um, your petitions as well as your manifestations up underneath that Capricorn eclipse. Did you? Huh? 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 Did you? Did you? Because <laughs> I did. Let's get it. Wait, what messages do you have for my Tauruses in love? Some on Rise of Venus as well as the Cross Watchers in love for the month of July, mid month from now to the end of July. Say what, what is it that you have in love? What is it that my Tauruses are needing to know? Okay, Taurus, let me find out y'all want to open up about y'all damn love life. What is it that my Tauruses are needing to know? It comes all right. Some of you guys could be watching someone, okay, and some of you guys. Some of you guys could be possibly cutting off a younger air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but I feel like this is the energy. Some of you guys are watching. Okay. Some of you guys are, um, some of y'all possibly have someone who is spying on you, okay? Or some of y'all could be spying on another person. I feel as if you look at something, a situation or a circumstance, I feel like this is more of a person as your wish, okay? And some of you guys could be spying to see if, um, either someone has made an offer to your person or your person has, um, made an offer to someone else, okay? I definitely feel during this time, some of y'all are actually going to find out some shit via social media, which could include another earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, as well as an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly a water sign. Someone definitely, um, some, Taurus, some of y'all are going to be addressing someone's drinking addiction. Either you or another person is definitely overindulging when it comes to alcohol. I also heard opiates and narcotics, so somebody could also be popping some big pills, okay? Um, others of you, this is about an offer, a stable offer that is slowly trying to come into fruition, okay? This could have to do with you, yeah, but someone's needing to make a decision, okay? This could have to do with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Either this person has a decision to make possibly between yourself and another fire sign, okay? Um, this could be someone who they have children with, or this could be someone who you have children with. Others of you, this could have to do with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, and a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like if you're dealing with the energy of water, um, I feel like there things could be stable, but someone is really needing to really, really step back and see where it is that all their damn resources going because someone really has an issue. I don't know if this is shopping. I don't know if this is like drinking. I don't know if this is partying, but I feel like somebody's money's been going to some bullshit and someone is kind of sitting back and observing and they feel as if this situation is not going to be stable or it's going to affect their stability in some kind of way. So I feel like someone is moving slowly during this time and really trying to offer you help, but you're dealing with a stubborn motherfucker who you can't tell them nothing. They know every damn thing, okay? Some of you guys are uh, possibly reconciling or reconsidering um, how much effort that you really want to put into a commitment because you don't trust this motherfucker. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone is really focused on a damn self in this situation when it comes to love. Someone is keeping their thoughts, their emotions to themselves. I feel as if someone, I'm hearing poker face. Someone's putting up a good poker face towards, but you intuitively already know what's going on, what's getting ready to go on. I feel as if you're trying to control the situation because there is a fear of someone removing themselves and there not being any type of stability in the situation. Maybe some of y'all are just really comfortable with where you've been, but spirit is trying to ascend you to greater heights. Um, some of y'all, this has to do with your past life. In a past life, you guys had an issue with um, making a decision, making a decision as far as where it is that you want to go to find your own balance, making a decision on um, if you want to be in a commitment or if you want to be uh, free as a damn bird or free to go out and be able to offer your damn cup. But some of y'all have been in a single place and you feeling as if, you know, I'm really tired of being single. Now, some of y'all could have been dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in the past. Some of y'all, this person is going to be wanting to reconcile um, with you to try to rebuild on the foundation. It's totally up to you because for some of you all, this is going to require some type of, or you or another person to forgive a situation. I definitely feel like 
you are another person. Okay, this could involve another earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, or this could involve a fire sign because the energy here is crazy. Some y'all are uh, reconciling with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're kind of indecisive on if you want to stick with the damn reason being on I'm reconciling for my children because for some of you all, it has to do with how you were raised. Some of you all wasn't raised with your father, so you don't want to put your children through that. And I totally dig that. But are you happy, though? Think about it. All right? That's your homework, Taurus. Some of you guys, um, some of you guys could have made a decision to release the situation, to release the individual due to just continuous fuck shit, okay? I feel as if somebody could have, somebody could be planning to make a move or just up and leave a situation, but for some of you all, you're going to find something that this person either leaves behind. Some of y'all could be finding, um, either some type of documentation that this person left behind to kind of kind of give you an idea of what's going to pop off going into the month of August towards this. I definitely feel like some of you guys are dealing with either an air sign or an earth sign that's getting ready to be out. Some of you guys are putting all of your attention, all of your focus, all of your energy into giving to a situation that this person is selfish. I feel as if this person gave just enough to keep you happy until they set up where it is that they were trying to go or what it is that they were trying to do, okay? Some of you all are really wanting commitment. Some of y'all, <clears throat> hmm, some of you guys could also be making an offer or have a Gemini making an offer to you, okay? Some of you all, whatever it was that you were going through possibly in the month of, I'm here in February for some of y'all, I, I heard November for others of you, and then I heard March for some of you, I heard... September, so this could be, okay, they say going forward. So going forward, whatever it is that you've been working on during those past times, there won't be any type of fruition to that situation until about September. There's a need for you to focus on yourself and building and, and, and investing in yourself. Some of you all, your life purpose here is kind of being questioned. I feel as if you've been used to doing one thing, but Spirit is trying to call you into your life path to do another. And it's kind of going against your integrity on a situation because it's causing you to go into this damn hermit mode, okay? Some of you all are sneaking, yeah, some of y'all are sneaking away possibly um, towards a cancer. Some of y'all could be dealing with the sign of Gemini who could be connected with, connected with the cancer to work a situation out behind your back. I definitely see you guys who have families with water signs, okay? I see some type of reconciliation and some type of working it out with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. When it comes to Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the... Um, Air cards that I have out here, I have the Page of Swords. I have the Seven of Swords here. Okay, yeah, I have the Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. Um, when it comes to air signs, I feel like someone is watching. So someone could even be um, going through your things, or someone could be watching to see um, or, or waiting to see if you could have snuck. If you left a person behind, they're waiting to see if you hooked up with a particular person that you told them that you weren't talking to no more or that something was dead. With, okay. Um, and this person is basing that. Some of y'all is dealing with somebody who is has some type of mental illness or some type of very low self-esteem. This person doesn't know their worth, so they kind of really kind of procrastinate on making decisions because I feel like, and this is where I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that you, you two mirror one another. There's a need to stop pointing the finger and really start understanding that like attracts like. So what is it about this individual that you're connecting with that mirrors your own damn behavior? Because chances are what the fuck you don't like about them is shit that you need to work on with yourself. Okay? Spirit is trying to get you guys out of this place of blaming yourself or being guilty for the decisions that you've made. But to leave that hurt back there, but to take forward with you the bless I mean the lessons as well as be grateful for the blessings the blessing time that you guys experience as well. Okay? Uh being thankful for the now. Some of you guys are going to reconcile with the Sagittarius who possibly had commitment issues in the past. This person now wants to work on being with you. But I feel towards you having a hard time opening up to this person and trusting this person with your heart space again. Because you're just like, you know, every time I let you in my energy, you come in and out and don't know what the fuck you want from me. So I'm not going to continue investing. If you want to continue investing in this situation with me, fuck with you. You're doing this. I'm doing this. Okay. What are you doing? All right. Others of you, there's a Gemini that wants to work on a situation. This person has been stalking the hell out of you. Some of you guys could be um, possibly trying to rectify a situation when it comes to children with a Gemini. I feel like some of y'all, this has been a very long time coming, but 
I feel someone wants to do the right thing in the family situation and help financially, okay, um, to bring stability as well as some of y'all is going to get getting ready to be reunited with some children that you didn't know that you had or there was some type of question on if the children was yours. Others of you, someone is getting ready to move forward towards, they getting ready to go get their wish fulfilled with possibly somebody who they have children with, okay? I feel like this, uh, and some of y'all, this person could be communicate, could have communicated this with you, or will be communicating with you. Some of them is actually gonna talk. Some of them is gonna take the coward approach and just deal. Okay, somebody is actually going to talk. I feel that you're defensive towards this news because you wanted to build something with this. Okay, others of you are thinking about reaching out to a fire sign and expressing what the hell you want, or a fire sign could be reaching out to you. But I feel like there's some type of defensive energy, even though there needs to be a completion to a cycle. Either we mend or we dip, okay? But I feel like an apology is going to be had here or given here. This could involve a Libra, Aries, Capricorn, um, Cancer, okay? I definitely feel like Spirit is pushing you towards taking a leap of faith. And something that you've been trying to manifest, possibly uh, involving an Aries with the food card, uh, star card, Aquarius, okay? Some of you guys could be actually um, actually offering commitment to an Aquarian. This person is what it is that you've been trying to manifest. They're everything that you desire. You look at this person as being very sexy, very beautiful, very uh, strong within self. Some of you all... Um, <laughs> Some of you all are entering into a new relationship, and it is going to be long-standing, and it's going to be um, very stable. Some of y'all have an Aries that's coming back, and this person has mustered up the, is trying to muster up the courage to communicate with you. I feel like two people mutually feel the same way, but they're just kind of covering up their feels. They don't really want to open up. Both parties don't trust the situation, and both parties have like a fear of rejection or something here. But I feel like when someone reaches out, there's going to be a perspective shift here. It could be involving um, a Scorpio, which is going to clear this clear this uncertainty. Some of y'all have to, some of you guys could be dealing with a Earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. And some of you guys are indecisive on reaching out to this damn Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sag. Some of y'all are dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Leaf, Aquarius, that don't know if they want to stay in a situation because there is passion here or if they want to continue looking forward looking for their balance in the future and I feel like this is the tower moment that you guys are going to be experiencing some of you guys are recognizing the soulmate there can be victory with this person but there's a fear of this person actually leaving you out in the cold or you being rejected okay some of you guys could be walking away from a soulmate connection to go work it out um, possibly with someone who you have children with or someone who you feel, I hear feel destined, who you feel destined is supposed to be, destined to be in your life, which could cause a damn uproar because this could have been a third party situation or uh, an issue about it in the past, but I feel like someone doesn't want to be in a damn third party. Someone is already independent, focused on them damn selves, and they just feel like, you know, I just have to release myself from this third party shit and just focus on my damn abundance. And that could have caused some shit or will be causing some shit. But I definitely see you guys victoriously moving forward and fast, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius who could possibly be um, connecting possibly with the fire sign. I feel like some of you all could be finding out that um, some of y'all could be dealing with Gemini and Scorpio. Some of you guys could be finding out that someone was using some type of magic here because I actually was looking at it as, you know, you have all the resources that you need, Taurus, and true indeed. But some of y'all could have some type of perspective shift around someone doing something um, very thrifty to keep you in this space of confusion. And it's all hell going to break loose because I definitely feel that spirit has you, spirit has protected you through this. But Taurus, you have to take the first step and connect with the self and truly listen to your inner voice because as soon as you do and surrender to the worry of situation, she gonna get the flowing in, okay? And some of you guys are just gonna just let somebody know. Somebody got a Sagittarius coming in, very strong, hot headed, and they just blah, you know, towards but I feel like this person means well. I just feel as if this person, you know, as soon as you lay a situation to rest, then what it is that you want is going to fall right in your lap. Some of you guys could have left a uh, left uh, an air sign or a fire sign in the past and you could have met another one and you're 
you're kind of not sure on what you want to do, but you're genuinely liking this person. And you, and I feel like you, Spirit wants you to go with the flow of things and don't base your past off of where you're going to go in the future because ultimately it was for you to learn from, for you to learn from the experience to know how to move in the future, okay? So, you guys, this is what I, but I do see overall you guys healing, okay? Healing, laying situations to rest, and just knowing that you are divinely protected, you guys. And, um, you guys, I definitely see overall success here with the success card, especially when it just comes to going with the flow. If things are falling down to the flow, allow them, okay? So, you guys, that's what I have for my bulls. I said I was going to give y'all a 13-minute uh, reading at first. But, you know, I just love y'all so very much, and I allow spirit to lead me, not my damn ego. Even though I be talking shit, you know, because I got a bunch of interesting shit in my chart, you know. But, I will say, y'all got to get y'all damn views up, because I really was in my feelings. My feelings was low-key hurt. I said, I looked, and I was like, let me see my bull. Oh, what, bulls? Y'all didn't what? So, I said, well, maybe they going through something. Let me look at it from a different perspective. Maybe they going through something. You know, with Uranus going into Taurus, when Uranus was in Aries, I'll heal broke through in my life. Everything, I was homeless, all kind of shit. So, I definitely feel like, you know, you guys are going through the spiritual aspect of things. Some of your gifts are growing. Um, you're enhancing as a person. You're ascending, baby. And everything that you once knew that was beneath that level of consciousness of where you have risen to, baby, is not supposed to be in your life still look at who was in your life when you were at a low vibration and then assess who is in your life and who has been there through the thick the thin but who has been there in a healthy way okay balance it out baby all right where do you see growth if it's where you've been at because of time but you can really be real with yourself and say, I don't see this shit growing. I don't see me growing as an individual doing what I'm doing here. Something to think about. And if you're not, not sure, I always ask the creator, baby. That's truly the whole way. I'm the messenger, but go to the source. I love you, family. I send you peace, love, light, and blessings. You guys, you need a personal, hit me up. This was here was the tea, okay? Toodles. Namaste.